a really large and complicated area to be working in and it's um, there's really no one solution that could probably fix it um, in overnight or in one possible way. Um, I think it's really huge, it's a global problem and so I think that solutions will need to be interdisciplinary. And then industry average is 15% gets thrown away which I mean it doesn't sound like a lot but um, when you make uh, when you use 400 billion square metres of fabric every year in the fashion industry, 15% of that is 60 billion square metres. I'm always looking to try and use sustainable methods in my practice uh, to keep, in particular to keep waste down or to recycle textile waste. So some of the sorts of things I've used are clever cutting techniques and by cutting different shapes out of the patterns instead of traditional pattern cutting where you cut less off or even aim to cut absolutely zero waste off. We can't continue to, to sustain the way that we have and the volume that we have. It's just not, um, it's not possible because we live on a finite planet. Some of the challenges you face um, when you're designing in a sustainable way is that there is really limited amount of sustainable textiles um, to start designing with. Did you know that a third of garments in retail stores never get sold? So they, they go into a retail store and one third don't get sold at all. They never get worn by anybody. And so they they do they, they produce too many clothes and then people buy too many. A third of the clothes your average person wears never gets worn. I think there's two barriers that um, stop fashion designers um, designing sustainably or hold people back from thinking they can. One of those is financial. I think people have a preconceived idea that sustainable fashion costs more money. And so I think when they think they're going to design sustainably, then the clothing would cost more money. I don't think it actually needs to be like that, um, but I think it's an idea that people have or a misconception that people have. Mm -hmm.